I'm OJ of Steel, and this is my introduction to Gear Optimizer. The purpose of the video is to introduce Gear Optimizer to you and to give you a basic understanding of the gear section of Gear Optimizer so that you can use that properly. Now, the purpose of Gear Optimizer, or GO, is it's designed to help you to determine the best gear to wear for a given set of priorities, and it has tools to help you with augments, NGUs, hacks, and wishes when you unlock those features. The first thing to do is to open up the web page, and the link is here at the top. It will also be linked in the description. It would probably be better to copy and paste this link since it is a complicated one. Let's start with an overview of the first page. The top left area is for general inputs, such as your highest zone, your highest looty, the amount of accessory slots you have, and also this button at the top, load ngusav.esjson, allows you to import your save from ngusav.es, allows you to import that into Geo so that your configuration of items can be streamlined a little bit. The area in the top middle is for your priorities and where you actually optimize for those given priorities. You notice that there are, you can have as many priorities as you want, as well as you can set the number of accessory slots that are used for a particular priority. The top right area is where you can input your power and toughness, your base power and toughness, the power and toughness on your infinity cube, the tier it is, as well as you can import your energy and magic cap, power, and bars in case you are close to the hard cap. Going down the left side, we have the outfit and accessories windows. These will tell you what your currently selected set or currently optimized set is. The window just below that is where you manage your loadouts or your saved sets. Here you can optimize all your saved sets, you can mark items that aren't used in any sets, you can export your loadouts so that others can see it, and you can manage your loadouts. You can save them, load them, delete them, show them, and uh, name them as well. Now if you notice, there's a button here called Show. This one will open up a saved outfit and saved accessories windows. Here you can actually see what your currently selected save loadout is. And this can be useful for the next section. The next window is gear stats. Here you can see where you're currently selected set up here at the top. You can see how many stats it's going to give, whether it's power, toughness, or any other kind of stat. You can also use the gear stats down here to compare between your current set that you have optimized and your currently saved set down here in the bottom. One note is that you can click here and it'll collapse the window. Doing that is useful because when gear, the gear stat window is collapsed, it will only show you your priorities. Notice how the first priority is set to power, and gear stats is also set to power here. If I change that, it will change as well. On the right side, we have all the different items that Geo will use when it optimizes for any given priority. And these are broken up into sections. So now that we have a basic understanding of what each window represents, let's dive into how we can actually use this tool to help us. Let's start by setting the highest zone. For the sake of this example, let's say that the player, his highest zone is sewers. So that opens up two adventure zones. Now let's configure the items that the player actually has access to. In order to tell Geo that we don't want to use a particular item in its calculations, 
we need to disable it. And there are two ways to do that. The first way is to hover over the item, right click it, and it will open up a window. And this window is used for updating the level of a particular item. But in our case, we just want to focus on this little disable button here. So if you click that, that will disable the item. Now a much easier way to do it, and the second way, is if you hold control and left click, that will also disable an item. Notice how the disabled items are grayed out, and you can also find them down at the very bottom underneath the gear stats window. There'll be a, this will show you all of the disabled items. Another nice feature when it comes to configuring which items are disabled is you can disable entire sections. For example, if you hold control and you click the name My Hearts, you can disable all of the hearts simultaneously. So let's go ahead and disable Ludi, Forest Pendant, the My Hearts, and the Miscellaneous section. Now that we know how to disable items, let's take a look at changing the level of items so that we can get the most accurate result when we optimize. Before we begin, an important note is that Gear Optimizer assumes that any item is greened or that it's fully boosted to the maximum amount that that level allows. So this can play a role if, for example, you don't have a fully maxed or a fully boosted item, it may not be as good as Geo says it is. So first, let's change the level. Let's say the rusty sword, let's change this level. And the way we do that is first by right-clicking the item, hover over it, right-click it, and we see that same window is open again, so we can disable it, but in our case, we're gonna change the level. So all you have to do, you don't have to type or click it, is you just type in the level. So let's say level 50. And we can do that for each piece as needed. So that's how you change the level. Something you may notice from time to time is that certain windows or zones will be collapsed or they'll be expanded. The way you do that is by clicking the name of the zone. So I can collapse tutorial zone or open and back up. This can be useful if you have all of the items in a particular section disabled, then you really don't need to see that. So now that we have our items configured, let's demonstrate how you can use the priorities to optimize for whatever need that you may have. So this area, the priorities, are how you determine what you want when you optimize your gear. So you can set these to anything you want, ranging from power and toughness all the way to the fastest time to cap your energy. Since our player is relatively new, we'll start with a few simple priorities. Let's say priority one is power and priority two is toughness. We, we can leave these slots on infinity since these power and toughness are going to be virtually the same on an accessory. So we just hit optimize. And if you notice here in this outfit and accessories pane, it shows us the currently, this is the current highest power followed by highest toughness set. Now the way Geo works is that first it tries to optimize the first priority to the best of its ability and will fill as many slots as it can. Only after it's filled every slot that it can will it move to priority two. So that can cause problems depending on the amount of slots that you have set. Let's say I want to run a different accessory. Then, in this case, I'd have to reduce the amount of accessory slots that I allow power to optimize in for. So let's say we reduce it down to one. In this case, it's not gonna do anything. So let's actually reduce it for toughness as well, down to one or zero. And notice how 
this actually leaves an empty accessory slot now. So that's power and toughness. Let's see if we can optimize for something a little more complicated. Let's say energy speed. So here, let's say we want no accessory slots for power or toughness. Instead, we want energy speed for our accessories. So we can set power and toughness to zero slots. And our third priority, we can set to energy speed. So if you scroll down, you'll get down all the way to the energy area right here, energy speed. So that's our third priority. And we can set it to infinite slots as well. So if we hit optimize again, now it changes. And notice how gear optimizer will typically put the strongest accessory in the leftmost slot, followed by the weaker and weaker accessories. So that's how you optimize for a particular set. But what if you won't, don't want to optimize for every single set that you need? Well, the nice thing is, is Gear Optimizer will allow you to save sets. So let's save this set, for example. So if you go down from, from Outfit and Accessories down to this next pane, this next window, we can set our, we can save this set. Let's give it a name. Let's say we'll do P slash T for power and toughness plus E speed. So that'll be our name. This will be the set that it saves. And this will be the priorities that it saves. This is important. So if we hit save, notice how it moved into this currently selected saved outfit. We can hide that by hitting the hide, and we can show it by clicking the show button. Let's say, let's make another set. This time, we won't use the priorities. Instead, we'll just use the entirety of the tutorial set for the sake of this example. And we'll save it to the next slot. Notice how the zero slot has that name in it. Let's move to the first slot. And again, you can see it's an empty saved slot. So let's give this one, let's say it's a bad set. So set number one, bad set. Let's go ahead and save it. Now here's something we can do. Let's say we want to go back to the zero set. So we click that, we see it's down here. We want it, let's say we want to change the priorities. Well, you can click load priorities and notice at the top, it changes all the priorities to something else. For sake of the example, let's change these priorities to something random. Notice how the priority number one is move cooldown. Let's even give it a fourth. Now, when I click load priorities, notice how it changes all the priorities back to exactly the way we configured them when we saved the set. So we can do one of two things. We can either optimize the gear again, or we can click the load button. Either one will result typically in the same. Optimizing for gear will give you a more accurate result if you change levels in between saving that set and clicking optimize. So let's say we have our two sets. We have bad set, power, and e-speed. If we go to the bad set, notice down here in the gear stats, we can see the difference between the power, toughness, and energy speed between this set, our currently selected set, and this second set, which is our, this is our bad set, but it's also our saved set. Notice how we'd get 100% extra power from running our current set over that bad set. So that's the way it calculates it, is the currently selected set is X amount of percent better or worse than the currently selected saved set. 
So, and we can reverse this too. Let's say we load this set and let's open up our other set. So see, now it's reversed and we can see that the amount of power that we will get is half of this, of this saved set. This allows us to easily compare sets as well as making small adjustments. So if I, for example, put on the crappy boots, you can notice that my toughness goes up. Or if I change the sword, my power goes up. And now it's at 0% because it's the same items. If you also notice down here, there's another window for items that aren't maxed. So if I go over and change the level of crappy helmet, let's say I change it to level 50 as well, it gets moved into the not maxed window down here as well. This way you can easily keep track of what items have a level other than 100. Another nice thing is that you can hold shift and click and it will max level the item. So notice now it's level 100. If I click it again, it'll go all the way down to zero. This can be really useful when you unlock a new zone and you just got the new items. You can go ahead and set their level down to zero. One of the most powerful aspects of Gear Optimizer is found here in these two buttons, Optimize All Saves and Mark Unused Items. So if we optimize all saves, that will take every saved set currently we only have two and it will optimize them based on the priorities that each set was saved with so for our set zero that shouldn't change since we didn't change anything but notice the change that the bad set will see so if you optimize it optimize all saves notice it changes as well and the reason why is because its priorities are set the exact same as the first set. This is an extremely powerful way because all you need to build sets because you just save the set, save the priorities that you want and you don't have to worry about it anymore. You just unlock a new zone, change some levels, you click optimize all saves and boom you're done. Another extremely powerful thing is found here in the Mark Unused Items. If you click that, it will highlight in red all of the items that are not found in any sets. So if we look over into our, the right pane, we can see that the cracked amulet, as well as the entirety of the tutorial set, are all highlighted in red. So this gives us a good indication of what isn't in any of our sets. Now this isn't a blanket statement that you should trash anything that isn't, that is highlighted red or isn't used because there may be unique specials or other various reasons why you'd want to keep a particular item. But this allows you to, at a glance, tell what is not used anymore, which will help your inventory management in the long run. So let's go ahead and let's disable all of these items that are highlighted in red. And now we can unmark, mark again. We don't see any red spaces. So now our inventory can remain nice and clean while also having dedicated sets to everything that we need. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below. And I'll be sure to answer them to the best of my ability and potentially even make some videos on it if it's a more expansive topic. Again, this has been OJ of Steel, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.